Now let's use the principle of math induction to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n is equivalent to n times n plus 1 over 2 for all positive integer n. So ngayon, sa video na to, gagamitin na natin yung principle of math induction para ma-prove natin na totoo to. Before we start, let's have a review. Math induction, meron siyang dalawang parts. The first one, verify nyo muna kung totoo siya at n sub 0 or kung ano starting point. For this case, for all positive integer n, so we'll verify kung totoo siya kay n equals 1. And then the second part, assume natin na totoo siya kay k. And then let's prove na totoo rin siya kay k plus 1. Kung ma-prove natin yan, and then by the principle of math induction, the formula is true for all positive integer n. So let's have the proof. Okay, the proof, meron siyang dalawang parts. Let's have part 1. Part 1. For part, part 1, um, we would like to verify if it's true for, for n equals 1. We verify. We verify uh, the formula. We verify the formula for n equals 1. Sometimes 0 yung starting point, ah. pero to kasi ang kailangan natin, all positive integer n, so 1 yung starting point natin. We verify that the formula is true for n equals 1. So let's substitute 1. So it'll become 1. So 1 lang yung n natin dito. 1. And um, it's equivalent to n. We will substitute n, 1. So it'll become 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2 is equivalent to 1 times 2 over 2 equals 1. Hence, it is true. It is true for n equals 1. Now, kadalasan tinatang lagi ng skwela ko, sir, mahalaga pa ba na isulat ko itong mga statements na to? Actually, it helps para, ano yun, may flow yung ideas mo kung paano mo sinusulat, sinusulat yung proof. Okay? Pero may mga shortcuts naman na ginagawa para hindi mo na isulat lahat yung uh, lahat ng mga words na to. Anyway, let's have the second part. Part 2. Part 2. So, part 1 and then it's part 2. For part 2, we're going to assume that um, the, the formula is true for n equals k. Going to, sorry, I'm going to use a different color. Part 2. We're going to assume that the formula formula is true. Ah, we say that this is the formula, huh? Formula to ng sum nito. Okay, assume that the formula is true for for n equals k. Okay, we assume that the formula is true for n equals k. Okay, and that is... Sorry? That is, so let's substitute. It will become 1 <coughs> plus 2 plus 3 plus up to k is equivalent to k times k plus 1 over or over 2. Okay. We call this the inductive hypothesis. So let's just place it here. Uh, we call this the inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. Hypothesis. Now, so, in assume na natin na totoo siya dito, then we want to sh to prove actually we want to show or to prove that it should be also it should also be true for for k plus one okay so I'm going to use another color what is this okay and for this part we want to show um we want to show so because we assume that it's true for k plus 1 we want to show that it is also true it is also true 
4 for n equals k plus 1. And that is, that is, and I sure na nun kung k plus 1 na siya. I'll just go into erase some of this. Yung lecture natin, the sak bilang video. Sorry. Uh, sorry, that is, um, it will become 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus k is equal to, sorry, k plus 1. So this is k and then the next will become k plus 1 plus, we'll replace this by k plus 1, sorry, equals k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 over 2. Okay. Now, we will prove this statement. So, I'm going to show the proof over here. Okay. So, we'll try to prove this. That that this up to k plus 1. Ang formula niya to. Okay. So, let's try it with um, this is the proof. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus k plus k plus 1. Okay. Now, I wanted to focus on this. Tingnan nyo to. This part over here. Okay. This part over here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to k is actually equivalent to this. And, yeah, this is our inductive hypo hypothesis. So, ibig sabihin, itong lahat ng to ay k times k plus 1 over 2. So, I can replace this by k times k plus 1 over 2. At galing siya sa inductive hypothesis. Galing siya dito. Right, this one, kapirash na to, kamukha niya to, so ito na siya. Plus, ibalik natin ito sa so k plus 1. k plus 1. Ngayon, um, this is over 1. Tama? This is over 1. And then we'll go into add. This is over 2. 2 divided by 2, that's 1. We have k times k plus 1 plus twice of this. 2, so 2 divided by 1, that's 2, times k plus 1. Dito, itong term na to, itong term na to, tsaka itong term na to, para silang may k plus 1. So, pwede mong ilabas si k plus 1. We can factor out k plus 1. So, it will become k plus 1. Sino lang may iiwan dito? Si k na lang. K. Dito, sino may iiwan? Kapag nilabas mo si k plus 1, may iwan na lang si 2. So, it's plus 2 over 2. And then, k plus 1, k plus 2, we can rewrite k plus 1. Si k plus 2, pwedeng isulat na k plus 1 plus 1 over 2. And that's it. Remember this? We want to show that this is true. And, yeah, we're successful in showing it. Para sila. Okay. Then how we, how we're going to write the concluding statement. Napakita natin na totoo siya sa part 1. We verify that this is correct for part 1. And then we assume that the formula is true for k. And then if it's true for k, we want to show that it's also true for k plus 1. And we're successful in sh uh, on, on showing or proving that it's also true for k plus 1. And therefore, okay, therefore, therefore, by the principle, by the principle of mathematical induction, induction, and then you can write the, you can write the formula. By the principle of math induction, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, plus n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 
for all for all positive positive integer integer n and then you will have to play something like look like this one so a box na may shade ibig sabihin ng end of proof and that's it